Hello everyone. Welcome back to another session of RNA biology. So we were here in the previous class and we were learning the importance of telomerase and also finding experimental evidences to support that what is the implications of telomerase and can we prove it that telomerase indeed is important to extend the longevity of a cultured cell in tissue culture. So, if you overexpress the telomerase, we can see that the uh, introduced telomerase can extend the length of the telomeres and they can divide for several rounds like examples of 250-300 generations they can pass but still they do not have any uh, abnormal features such as cancer. So, for a normal cell if you want to express uh, or if you want to maintain them in a actively proliferating state then you need to have telomerase available otherwise the cells will start showing signs of senescence or signs of old age. So, how does telomerase work? Telomerase works by adding back to an existing array sequence. It do not start from the scratch. The T2A G3 sequence is already there and telomerase will keep renewing it just like you renew your um, you know um, vehicle insurance or um, your house insurance or medical insurance something like that. You already have it and you continue to renew it. That is exactly what telomerase is doing. So, it keeps keep its work by adding telomeric DNA to the ends of chromosomes thus compensating for the loss of telomeres that normally occurs as the cells divide. So, most normal cells do not have this enzyme and thus they lose telomeres with each division. We saw in the previous class that around 11 kb long telomeres at the young age embryonic stage now eventually become 4 kb in the old age. So, and also you should understand not every chromosomes have equal length of telomeres and this is something important you should understand not that uh, every telomere will have the same length and uh, their rate of decline also uh, will be at same length. So, it can vary from uh, cell to cell if a cell is actively dividing a given tissue is actively dividing then the chances of that particular cell or that particular cell in a given region say in your face your face have got so much location but some area there might be constant wear and tear might be happening. So, this can lead to some malfunctioning malfunctioning means not cancer. So, like you can see some part of your body will have dry skin or some part of your face will have dry skin but not everywhere. So, one can always argue oh that particular area the sebum production or the sebaceous gland is not active. So, we should understand the dry skin is a sign of not functioning cells properly. So, the sebum production is not working as efficiently as it happens in the neighboring cells. So, hence you will see some part of your body is having dry skin same way some patch of your body may be little bit rough skin uh, some patch will have uh, you know little bit wrinkles more than the others. So, in a given location if you are seeing not two cells will be eroded or they are not damaged equally and this can reflect in their telomere length also. So, since each chromosome do not have the same length of telomere which chromosome reach the threshold the lower threshold that can trigger a senescence or old age or sign of old age response in that uh, particular chromosome onwards and that will reflect in the entire cell. So, not that every chromosome should have uh, extremely short telomere, but their rate of decline in a given cell will be more or less same because whenever a cell is dividing it cannot escape one chromosome from dividing or it cannot keep aside one chromosome from dividing. So, every chromosome has to divide. So, the rate of loss also will be same, but in a given tissue if there are 100 cells we cannot assume all the 100 will have say chromosome number 1 in all the 100 cells have got same length. It would have been same to start with, 
at the embryonic stage but eventually the length is decreasing so also one more thing in some animals such as mice the telomere knockout telomerase knockout is not going to give a serious phenotype until f5 there was a interesting paper published in the journal cell few years ago that clearly showed demonstrated that the sign of old age you start seeing in f5 means filial generation 5 means parents giving rise to the young one kids is f1 parents are the founder population f1 and f1 giving rise to next generation is f2 and f2 giving rise to next generation is f3 like that it have it will reach up to f5 for the mice to start showing signs of old age in a telomerase knockout background it's simply because mice have got disproportionately high telomere length so the telomere even though the in the germline cells it is not being rejuvenated as it happens in the wild type because here we are talking about the knockout mice means telomerase is knockout so it takes up to f5 to start showing signs of senescence like you know um, uh, distinctive uh, you know skin wrinkles um, uh, you know here patches of hair loss etc there are different phenotypes to indicate uh, the cellular senescence and that mice will look like uh, old so you may have seen about there is a hollywood movie uh, a curious case of uh, benjamin burton that all they also talk about uh, uh, this you know the, the the kid is born like old and then slowly it moves of course it's a fantasy movie and uh, but there are it happens uh, in in reality also but it doesn't grow backwards in that movie the character is growing backwards to become too young that doesn't happen but there are cases humans who will be born really really old and the, the costs are something else to do with the genetics nothing to do uh, exclusively with the telomere length what i am saying is having old age look is possible in human beings also in some peculiar disease conditions so telomere length is very important to maintain healthy nature of uh, that particular um, organism and the tissue type so most normal cells do not have this enzyme and thus they lose lose their telomeres as and when the cell continue to divide in humans telomerase is active in germ cells and also in vitro immortalized cell immortalized cells means you have different ways of immortalizing a cell immortalizing simply means you can pass on the cell culture for generations we usually refer the word passage so a culture of cell when you are passing on to one generation you took a frozen aliquot from a freezer and you revived them in petri dish and that is called one passage and then you are again inoculating that is second passage like that so this immortalization is possible by transfecting with some specific types of viruses etc basically you are deregulating the normalcy in a cell that normal cell have got a distinctive uh, way of cell division like we usually refer to them as primary culture say you took a organisms a given tissue and you separated the cells and allowing to grow in a petri dish that is called primary culture primary culture cannot grow more than a specific time it simply grows for a while and then it stops dividing but that can screw up some of your experiments so you don't want that to happen so if you want a given cell line and which is not cancerous but you want to keep them growing for a long time so there are ways in which you can immortalize a cell without making it cancerous so that cells those cells have to have a active telomerase activity the vast majority of cancer cells by default will have active telomerase act activity and in some stem cells because stem cells also continue to divide stem cells when they are dividing they always make a copy of themselves and a group of cells from this stem cell give rise to a tissue that has to originate from that stem cell but it never make it just like you are taking money from your wallet then it will empty stem cells also is like a reservoir so if you keep on taking cells and differentiating one fine day stem cell kitty will be empty so you don't want that to happen so what stem cells will do it's just like you took 100 rupee from your wallet you are making a copy of it and then putting back in the wallet and taking one so that there is no uh, discount making a copy here what i mean is not 
making photostat of a currency that is what cell is capable of you cannot make a copy of 100 rupee currency but what if such a situation was there so your wallet will never empty so this logic you can maintain you can follow if the stem cells have the telomerase activity otherwise what will happen your newly formed stem cells as a part of cell division will be older and older and older so that will not be a friendly situation for cellular point of view or a cell differentiation point of view so stem cells need to have this telomerase activity at least in some category in other category what happens is these stem cells are capable of giving rise to the tissue only to a marginal extent it is not stem cell forever it is capable of giving rise to for a while and that's it then it will not because it will exhaust or empty it's the it, the stock of stem cells so such stem cells will not have the telomerase activity so high telomerase activity exists in germ cells and the reason i told you because uh, when a germ cell is being produced say for example sperm is being produced from a 18 year old fellow 25 year old fellow 35 year old fellow 45 year old fellow so you cannot have variation in the quality of telomeres in this uh, individual sperm but the starting cell of a 18 year old fellow versus a 50 year old fellow the telomere length is significantly compromised so the telomerase have to compensate the length so that the next generation is unaffected so germ cells must have to have uh, adequate uh, telomerase activity and epidermal skin cells because your skin cells erode very fast so if they don't have telomerase of course telomerase activity comes down with old age but their rate of division is so high that is why you know in uh, cancer treatment uh, you know uh, after chemotherapy people develop lots of uh, hair loss uh, you know wrinkling on of the skin and they even have lot of vomiting a loose motion etc because the cancer cells divide very fast so anti cancer drugs are targeting all cells which divides but your intestinal epithelial cells skin cells hair cells they divide faster than cancer cells so even before the cancer cells die your healthy skin cells intestinal lining cells or uh, hair cells they all will die much before the cancer cells die because they divide faster than cancer cells so there are some cells in our body which divide faster than cancer cells and they need to be maintained effectively hence they also will have restricted telomerase activity so that you will not start showing signs of old age so you have follicular hair cells and also cancer cells so cancer cells usually rejuvenate the telomerase normally a given tissue a healthy tissue in your body do not have telomerase activity except these stem cells epidermal skin cells like that so they rejuvenate and make them cancerous so some cells are immortal because their telomerase is switched on because telomerase is an essential component or essential enzyme required for immortalization examples of immortal cells include the blood cells and the cancer cells blood cells why because your blood cell have got only 120 days life span so the blood cell in your body currently staying in your body will not be there after around 4 months 4 months time that cell will disappear the red blood cells so throughout your life span 4 month is nothing in like you need to have three full rounds of replication in one year so it is a lot so if a person living for say 50 years you can imagine how many rounds the stem cells have to divide and uh, in the bone marrow which produces this uh, blood cells in the adult inside your bones so they have to divide and there are stem cells which give rise to uh, the blood cells so if they don't have this reviving ability of their telomeric ends then immediately within no time say maybe some 10 years or so the organism will start showing signs of senescence because the telomere length will decrease so you have bone marrow stem cells which is capable of producing your white blood cells and red blood cells which is seen in your uh, blood stream so they need to have uh, telomere length normalized because white blood cells only have the nucleus normally the rbcs don't have nucleus in early stage of rbc formation they have the nucleus but in any case the bone marrow stem cells have the telomerase activity 
so cancer cells do not age because they produce telomerase which keeps the telomere length intact so the signs or the clues that direct a given cell into senescence or, or into apoptosis it will be turned off in those situations so let us see what is the genetic link the telomerase control gene has been mapped to 3p21 that is in the chromosome number 3 p arm on locus 21 that is this notation indicate normally every chromosome will have uh, a, a p arm and a q arm like p arm is the short arm q arm is the longer arm so uh, which is on either side of the centromere centromere is a part in the chromosome during the cell division the spindle fibers attach it's just like a handle uh, of your suitcase or your backpack you have a handle so telomere is a handle uh, for the spindle fibers to separate out this divided uh, chromosomes so on either side of this uh, centromere you have the p arm and the q arm so this is located on the p arm at the locus 21 uh, this uh, telomerase uh, controlling gene although the gene for telomerase is present in all cells human telomerase uh, repeat transcript is present only in immortal cells so human telomeric specific reverse transcriptase HTRT so this telomeric repeat has to be added uh, because of uh, presence of a RNA template inside the telomerase enzyme telomerase is a protein enzyme it has got an RNA template which is capable of producing this repeat so HTRT basically is the name of this enzyme and it is usually seen only in the immortal cell where it serves to fuse the repeating sequence of DNA to the chromosomes thereby lengthening the telomeres. So the discovery of function of telomeres and telomerase is the most important discovery in the field of anti-aging medicine. So if we can tackle telomerase in a effective manner there are many uh, many uh, drugs uh, available or, or many even plant derivatives people are doing lots of research can we prolong the life of telomerase in a normal cell so that you can prevent aging etc lot of research is going on in those lines like people do lots of research on you know uh, effect of applying turmeric people uh, traditionally people apply turmeric on the skin uh, to look young or some um, scars uh, so the curcumin is the active ingredient uh, which has got implications in cancer lot of other um, uh, other you know cellular uh, important events so people do a lot of study uh, using this kind of uh, you know naturally occurring compounds also how telomere and telomerase uh, stay in uh, in such a topical application of such kind of compounds so let us see what is the role of telomeres and aging how telomeres are linked to aging so aging we should understand is nothing to do with the calendar age so calendar age is something which nobody can stop but what one can do is whether your body is reflecting the calendar age Say for example, if a person is 40 year old in calendar, calendar age, 40 years passed since that person is born. Now the question is whether that person's body is also equal to 40 year or it's equal to 20 year or it's equal to 60 year. All these things are possible. So 40 year is fixed one. It cannot change because that is the calendar year. Now you are talking about the senescence or aging at a cellular point of view it depends on how many rounds this particular person's body cells have divided just like telephone or laptop batteries people say your battery will stay healthy if you do charging and discharging cycles completely I, I'm not a battery expert but people say you have to charge it and empty almost completely and again charge fully and again empty uh, completely so this is good for the battery life cycle but sometimes people constantly keep the battery charged fully charged that's also not good people say battery experts say so in any case the life 
of a battery is measured in terms of cycles how many cycles of charging discharging cycle happen to that battery oh a given battery can have around 1000 charge and discharge cycle a typical lithium polymer battery so many a times if you have done this completely then chances of your battery longevity is very high same logic applies for your cell if your cell a new cell is born in your body say that cell is supposed to live for 3 months or 6 months for convenience let us assume that it can live for 6 months of course it varies from tissue to tissue so honesty is on up to you can i extend this 6 months to 1 year or will this 6 months longevity now going back to 3 months so if the longevity of that cell became 3 months because of your way you live the amount of toxins you push in into your body then what will happen when you are 10 years past the calendar age instead of looking 10 year you are 20 years at the cellular level because 6 months age you shortened it to 3 months same way the 6 months age you prolonged it to 12 months then what will happen once the 10 year have passed on calendar you would be only 5 year would have passed in calendar so cellular senescence and calendar senescence are something different which you should keep clearly in mind so once the telomere shrinks to certain level the cell can no longer divide because if it divides it will have loss of gene function so its metabolism slows down and it ages and it dies and this is normal situation that is called cellular senescence followed by apoptosis healthy human cells are mortal immortal is opposite of that mortal means it can die and they are mortal because they can divide only a finite number of times growing older each time when they divide thus cells in an early elderly person are much older than the cells in an infant and which you can clearly reflect also if you look at the skin skin is the easy part you can observe if you look at the skin of a young person versus an old person you can clearly see it and if some person like some health conscious person might be maintaining their skin even younger than a infant maybe because of the treatment i'm not talking about makeup i'm not talking about you know makeover or something they are you know drinking adequate water and keeping their skin uh, nourished etc so they are expanding or extending the life span of that cell and they look young so cell division is a finite biological function and is inexorably tied to the aging process means you cannot separate these two if a cell is dividing it will age so if today cell divided and became two cells tomorrow they are older than the existing cell it may sound little contradictory means new cells are formed how can you say they are older than the pre existing one yes a telomeric level or telomerase activity point of view or the length of the telomere which is a yardstick of future senescence possible senescence it is just like philosophically saying one day past means you reached one more day close to your death it may sound little alarming but that is a fact you have a finite number of days of life span whether you extend or don't extend it's up to you your way of living but it is normal that no one can say that okay i will stay for 1 lakh years or 50000 years impossible maximum is 100 or around that ballpark figure so every day you are one step closer to your final day so same logic applies to every cell when they are dividing the new cells are shorter so this concept should be clear to you that's why i am repeating so there is something called hay flick number so you should be familiar with that that describes the number of times a cell can divide so hay flick number can vary from which tissue you are talking about and the what is the length hay flick number in a species also can vary based on like i gave the example of mice which shows the sign of senescence in f5 that means they have a infinite number of division capability but that is not a permanent feature so hayfield number describes the number of times a cell can divide hayfield was hayfield was the first scientist to suggest the relationship between cell division and mortality so but the mechanism was not initially understood he was of the opinion that the more the cell divide 
it is getting closer to death so this was the viewpoint which he was projecting so later on people ended up finding out the end replication problem etc let us quickly go into the end replication problem dna polymerase can only synthesize dna in the 5 prime to 3 prime direction resulting in a discontinuous replication of dna in the lagging strand leading strand that is not an issue consequently what happens is dna synthesis does not extend to the very end of the lagging strand the reason i already told you it cannot stand in the atmosphere or in the in the air and then synthesize the dna it need a template strand to hold clinch onto it otherwise dna polymerase will fall off from the dna in the absence of a protective mechanism the end replication problem means vital genetic material from the end of the lagging strand vital genetic material means not the telomeres but the genes itself it would be lost during each division so if a gene is supposed to be 1000 base pair if the gene is the extreme end of the chromosome the 1000 base pair now will become say 990 base pair so 10 base is lost so you don't want that to happen then the gene will start producing incomplete products so telomeres solve the end replication problem by protecting the cell from the loss of critical coding base pairs telomeres don't have any coding sequence hence it is perfectly fine so we will learn more about the telomeres and telomerase activity and also hayflick number in the next class thank you